everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's farm some bills, baby. Hashtag farm some bills. Today we've got 27 PC mods in testing. We've got eight console mods in testing. With all those 27 mods were released today. Giants are making it so anyone could be a farming simulator league caster. A2 Studios TLX 9000 rigid body tank is complete. Agro mods have a new truck. We're gonna talk about the tracks from Carl Farms 2 updates today. Angry American Mining has some new screenshots from the Plager Outlaw. Kanta Comigo Mining have a new tractor. 40 Mining update us on the progress of their Brown trailer. Ada Mining's got some new screenshots from the old Jim Massey pack. Lucia's Mining's John Deere 100 is with John for testing. Connect Mining have a new fact sheet for us. SMI Mod Team also have a new fact sheet for us. JA Mining reveals what his next mod's gonna be. Vertex Design have a new partner. Farming Agency have a big live stream plan for this Friday. Plus, Missy B talks about the update to Wither Farms. Let's check it out. It's SD4 PC. We have Agley Farm, Camera Suspension, Chellington Valley, Christmas Market Farming 5, Empty Bailers, Eureka Farms, Euro Spanned Pack, Exit Sign, Green Silo, Gruber Loading Wagon, John Deere DN 10006, Kraz 258, Lizard Baylor Combi STB 03P, Lizard Speedmix 3000, Lizard 128, MA Ag CML 30, New Holland FR 850, North Bonnet Company Mulcher, Lancy Boys Oak Hill, Original USSR Reflectors, Polish Fertilizer Pallets, Real Wood Harvester, Roto Plastic Speed Mix 3000, Seasons Geo Walken, Sugar Beats Export, D25, and Wartburg. In test A4 consoles, we have the Galignani G400S, Green Shed, JCB TM320E, John Deere 1110G, Machine Shelter, MAN Transport Pack, Manure Dealer Pack, and Vogel and New Terra Dig XS. With all that being said, we are down to 147 mods sitting waiting to be tested and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is also down to five work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 27 new and updated mods were released today on the Endgame Mod Hub. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the description below. Have you ever wanted to be a caster for the Farming Simulator League? Well, this weekend is your chance. Giant Software will be doing a clean feed on their new Twitch channel called Giant Software Clean Feed. There, you'll be able to watch the Farming Simulator League tournaments without casters. That way, you can stream and cast your own version for your viewers or friends to watch and have fun with. The stream will start this Saturday, January 16th at 10 a.m. CET, around 4 a.m. Eastern, a.k.a. I will not be doing this. I'm going to be asleep, but you can do it. Check it out in the link below to learn more. A2 Studio has finished the model for their TLX 9000 Rigid Tanker, and boy, oh boy, does this look good. This is just going to be one of the modules that you can hook up to the back of the upcoming TLX 9000 Rigid Body Mod being made for all platforms. To see what has been finished so far with this mod, don't miss out on today's live stream starting at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Pacific time here on the channel. Agro Mods has a new pickup truck mod called the Homemade Vehicle. This is a catalyst pickup truck with a flatbed in the back to haul around bales or pallets, and you'll be able to strap those things down as well. Currently, there are no other options shown for this mod, but should be quite a cool one once released. This mod's been made for all platforms. Today, Carl Farms updated their Case IH Magnum US and AFS Connect Magnum tractors with the changelog adjusted in multiple wheel configurations and updated description version 53. One thing to keep in mind with this update, as I mentioned in today's new mod video, is that the 3D tracks are now gone on both of these mods. Carl Farms was not one of the modders that were temporarily banned back at Christmas, but I think to avoid any issues, I believe they have removed the 3D tracks for that reason to avoid any conflict. I know lots of you enjoy using the 3D track, so just a heads up, if you want to keep them, don't download it. Don't update. Just leave it the way it is. Angry American Modding has posted some new screenshots of CNH Modding's Plager Outlaw Semi Truck. We really didn't get any new information with the post, just some reiterations that this will be for all platforms and things like that. This mod is still a work in progress, so just like most everything we talk about at Farm Sim News, there's no projected release date for this truck. I want to give a quick shout out to Angry American Modding, though. Look at these screenshots. Holy cow, these look amazing. Conto Comigo Modding has a new tractor, their first tractor model to be made, the Maxian Series. This will be a new brand of Farming Simulator 19, unknown whether it would be a new brand or just Lizard or something like that for consoles, maybe just PC only, but they do say that they are starting to make, or they started making this mod less than one month ago and already sent it off to mod up for testing. That's insane. 40 modding update us today on their Browin 32 foot bed trailer, saying that the suspension is now fully working with the axles moving as they would in a real trailer. They also have added new potato box that could be purchased in the shop and added a potato box cover on the trailer in the shop configurations. 
They say that they still need to add wear textures and finalize these shop configurations. No platform information is known at this time. Ada Modding shows a few new screenshots of equipment coming with the old Gen Massey pack, saying that he's been busy with spec maps and redoing a few things, and also has new spec maps on the tracks. These will not be 3D tracks, at least to my knowledge, but will be the original in-game ones. I know lots of you guys have been waiting patiently, or maybe some impatiently, about this mod pack and wondering what's taking so long. Well, there are a lot of pieces with this pack and everything is being redone. They want to make sure they do everything just right first time and make it perfect. That way they don't have to add or edit the pack later with updates. Solutions Modding this morning have officially sent off their John Deere 100 chisel plow to the mod for testing for all platforms. As you can see from these screenshots, the model is very detailed. It'll make a great addition to any John Deere farm, large or small. Connect Modding has a new fact sheet for us today, the SNCP 108 disc. This is going to cost you a whopping 105 grand. Also, has a max working speed of 17 kilometers per hour, around 10 miles per hour, and requires 330 horsepower to be able to change up the wheels on this mod. The SMI mod team also has a new fact sheet for us today of their Irmo Hurricane 500 and 600 disc mods. These are going to cost you between $42,300 and $46,900, and you can choose between 5 meter and 6 meter working width. This mod will be available for all platforms once released. And you can see from these screenshots, the quality of this mod is on par with everything that the SMI mod team makes. It is just simply out of this world. You guys kill it on everything. Great job on another successful mod. JA Modding shows off some new teaser screenshots of their next mod, but we talked about this a couple days ago. What is it? Well, now we know what it is, and it will be the John Deere 2730 Deep Ripper. We also know that they have a working width of 10 meters planned for this, and it will be for all platforms. Vertex Design announced a new mod earlier this morning, and with a new partner as well, the Evers Agroteric Manure Disc Harrow with a 6.45 meter working width. This was created by team member Daniel Eleven and is absolutely stunning. This mod is currently a work in progress. Don't forget that the Farming Agency will be doing a big live stream this Friday to celebrate one year of Farming Agency, one year of Maze Plus, and the Alien Paul's 49th birthday. Happy birthday, brother. You don't want to miss this live stream they're going to be doing some big time giveaways. Not one, not two, but five DLC giveaways on a high performer and a high performance dedicated farming simulator server for three months. Hey, yo, three months of free servers. Let's go. Check it out. Link below as they've already got the stream prepared and up. And lastly, today we hear from Missy B Modding in regards to the update to Wither Farms. She says that unfortunately she was not able to get the hedge trigger to work and has tried many different solutions with no positive outcomes. So for those of you that were wanting a hedge trigger on Wither Farms, that will not be happening, at least as of right now. She will be returning to this in a future later update. Try and get everything to work properly for you to enjoy. And for those of you that were wanting a cringy outro and for this video to end, I got you fam. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Alright boys, it is live stream day, it is time to break some stuff, let's go!